How you doing everybody? Hope you're having a good day. It's another day that uh, we have the possibility of doing something for God. Because if you're, if you're awake and moving around, if you're listening to this video, then do something for God. Maybe share the video or take these thoughts and contemplate them and, and put some Bible verses on your Facebook f feed and uh, do things like that. So do something for God. Do something more than you did yesterday. I mean, th let's face it. What did you do yesterday for God? And a lot of times when we start asking ourselves that question, we find that, well, I really didn't do anything. I just went about my business, behaved myself, and uh, uh, said my daily prayers, and, and that was it. But yet, there's still more that we can always do. We always have more opportunity to do things for God than we usually afford ourselves to. All right, now the title of the lesson today <clears throat> is called Truth Does Not Matter. <clears throat> and for most people, the truth does not matter. See, we have seen in our society a culture change where truth does not matter as much as maybe a political agenda or a social agenda that people are trying to promote. And truth is only important if one can gain an advantage. And oftentimes the truth is ignored if it does not agree with the powers that be or with the, with the plans that people have. And so they, they sometimes change it or ignore it outright. You know, just an example would be climate change. I mean, honestly, it's a huge lie. Yet most of the world's leadership is going forward with the lie. Why? Well, so they can tax us and get more money out of us. But let's face it if, it, if climate change was real, the powers that be would be moving people away from the oceans. But they're not doing that. That's not happening. In, in, in other words, they're just going to wait. Well, if the oceans rise, then we'll have to move people. No. If they're so convinced the oceans are going to rise, they would be moving people now to save millions of lives. But so far... And when you think about it, I mean, since the 1970s and even just about every year after that, someone gave a warning, oh, we're, we're all going to uh, die in the next few years because the climate's going to get so bad and, and it's all man's fault and stuff like that. See, so far there's zero evidence that the polar caps are melting and causing the oceans to rise. You know, since the 1970s, the, the polar ice caps have gotten larger and then they've gotten smaller. They, it goes through in cycles. And there, there's really nothing different from today than there was back in the 70s. And to see that this is all a ruse, I mean, look at some old photographs. See, they started taking photographs back in the 1800s. And sometimes they would take photographs of maybe the seashore, of places along the seashore, people standing next to the sea. And they, they show pictures of this stuff, and then you look at, compare it to pictures from today, the oceans are not rising. They, they claimed it would happen. They said in five years, ten years, this is all going to be all underwater and stuff. And, I mean, let's face it, history documents weather cycles. I mean, taking place for thousands of years. I mean, people wrote about years of drought and years of cold, uh, years that heavy snow and years where heavy rain and no rain. I mean, it's been writing about this from the, the, the first and second century. People were writing about this. And they can find those in the old documents. So all you learn here is there's an agenda taking place which most people are ignorant of. You know, truth or lies. I mean, think about it. Does it matter? Does it even matter? You know, I heard a person on TV say that no matter how many lies are told about a candidate, many will vote for that candidate anyway. And then I also heard them say no matter how much truth is used to expose a candidate, people will still vote for them anyway. You know, recently a, a, an episode of CSI Vegas had someone say this, truth and facts do not matter anymore. It is who tells the best story that people are going to believe. And you know what? That's where we are now. People who want to believe something, they, they find someone who tells them the best story, and that's what they go with. 
So this, this, the truth does not seem to matter anymore in the realm of the spiritual. And that's been going on for years. See, the majority of denominations will hold to a lie and promote the lie rather than teach the truth of what God says in his word. And I probably should say all the denominations do that. Sadly, some churches of Christ do the same thing. And so while Jesus taught obedience to God was necessary to enter heaven, men teach that obedience is not necessary. I mean, Jesus clearly taught that baptism is essential to salvation, and men deny that. I mean, they, they teach you don't need to be baptized in order to be saved. And so the problem that is more people listen to man rather than listen to God because it's easier to do what man says than what God says. At least that's the case. You know, Eve did not like what God had commanded, and as, as the serpent told her she, what she wanted to hear. Man, she was ready for it. See, mankind has not changed in the last 6,000 years. God gives a command. Most people do not want to abide by that command, so they do what they want to do, and they just ignore the command. And somehow they still have to turn around and feel justified for what they're doing. See, whether it is the truth or not is irrelevant to them. It actually becomes easier to do what you want because you want to do it than to abide by what someone or something wants you to do. It's easier to go with your own feelings than to listen to God and do what he says. I mean, so, I mean, even Proverbs talks about that. Every man... Man's way is right in his own eyes, Proverbs 16.2 and 16.25 says, there's a way which seems right to a man, but the end is the way of death. And, and so, so this is nothing more than the result of selfish society and people who are being selfish. I mean, yeah, we, we could say, just imagine our world if everybody started living like the Bible commands, how great it would be. But just imagine our world when they succeed in turning this into a totally godless society. I mean, that is not out of the realm of possibility as we've de de determined over the past couple of generations. In fact, we've seen changes in our culture and society that indicates humanity is rushing into such chaos by removing God from every aspect of our culture. I mean, 20 years ago, we couldn't even have imagined some of the things that are taking place today. And now all of a sudden, reality is setting in that it is. And, and it's very disturbing. And of course, many people in the church, they seem to go along with it. See, God tells us that he allows people to do who do not want the truth to believe the lies. You know, there are 2 Thessalonians 2, 11 and 12. He allows them to believe the lie. Why? Because they don't love the truth. They did not receive a love for the truth. And so they don't care for the truth. And so they just want to be told what they want. And Paul told Timothy there in 2 Timothy 4, 3 and 4, that the time will come they will not endure sound, truthful doctrine. But wish and have their ears tickled, they'll accumulate for themselves teachers of their own desires. And so that's what's happening. Even looking at our judicial system, God predicted our court system would ignore truth in order to promote an agenda. See, several times in the Old Testament, God speaks of the failure of the judicial system because bribes take place, power is exerted, personal safety is threatened. You don't think that's going on today? You know it is. See, the law, and especially the Constitution, is not respected anymore. We know that. And judges who don't like the Constitution or the law, they, they, they are changing the interpretation of it and making new rules that was not writ in the original intent of those who framed the Constitution. So many people only call upon the law when it is to their advantage. Otherwise, they just ignore and they have no problem breaking the law. All right, so when you think about this, this is the very reason that Jesus was crucified by the people. I mean, let, let's face it, because Jesus was truth and he spoke the truth. Jesus spoke the truth about a lot of people and it really upset them. They didn't like that. Sometimes for some of them, he made them look bad. He looked, made them look like fools 
and their their anger burned within them so much they just wanted him silenced for good they wanted him put to death and so that's what they accomplished eventually and these people did not want the truth being spoken see spiritually speaking that happens all the time in our world see until we place jesus at the pinnacle of our faith and our lives and do what he says lies will just keep people off track and in a lost condition and the problem is just like in the days of jeremiah these people doing these things and he says my people love it so i mean they were so happy to do whatever was considered sin in their eyes because they enjoyed doing it and the idea of speaking the truth was very distasteful to them it's no different today when you speak the truth people are going to get upset they don't like to hear that or if it if it doesn't fit within their political ideas or agenda then they don't want to deal with it so they're 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 liable to turn around and start calling you names you know sometimes those of us who stand for the truth and speak the truth we're usually called names of derision of some sort legalist or something like that fundamentalist or I mean, you just, whatever term you want to come up with, people make us sound terrible because we speak the truth. And that's what they did with Jesus. They crucified Jesus, and in a symbolic way, they'll crucify us who speak the truth. And people don't like the truth, guess what? They're not going to listen to it. There's somebody else out there who will tell them what they want to hear, and they'll go find them. So think about these things, folks. I mean, it, it's... It's a simple lesson today and just one that's very, very accurate, I believe, and needs to be shared with others. Truth does not matter anymore. I mean, that, that's basically how most of this world operates. And sadly, there's some in the church who are beginning to operate in the same way. And they start teachings that, that are not according to God's word. And the people love it so. So think about this, and uh, that's going to be our lesson for today. Uh, consider these thoughts, share them with others, if you will, and um, look for us again another time. So you have a good day now. Bye-bye.